In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can convert raster elevation data into nicely styled contour lines. To do this, I will use a simple elevation data set in a raster format. It's a projected data set, so I don't have to worry about uh, this Z factor and so on. So this will be pretty straightforward. First of all, I need to create my uh, contour lines. And I go to rasters and extract contour. And depending on uh, the area the, and so on, uh, you can do some different settings. And it also depends on the scale you intend, intend to use the uh, the contour lines for. I will have 5 meters interval and everything else will be uh, the default. And for this example I will not bother creating a permanent layer so it will be just a temporary layer. There we go. And let's go to an area that with a few lines like this. Uh, and I'll turn that one off. First of all, I need to pick a color. And uh, to do that, I open the styling panel. And uh, I think I will go for a darker brown. I will like that. And um, the size, what happens if we, if we take a really thin one? Okay, that could be go good to start with. But I will uh, use expression to uh, control the thickness because I want uh, the lines to have different thickness depending on the elevation. So, first of all, I will test if the, let's see, was it elevation? Elev, elev, uh, and this is a, a small trick. I will not. Uh, test for every uh, even 100 meters. I will test for all even 100 meters. And to do that, I will use uh, the ampersand, which uh, divides by 100, but it doesn't give me the division result. It gives me the, the what do you call it? What's left over from the division. So if it is evenly dividable by 100, the result will be zero. So if it is dividable by 100, I want this line to be, let's say, 0 0.8. And if it is not dividable by 100, I want to also test if it is dividable by 25. So if Elev ampersand 25 equals 0. And then the line thickness should be 0.5. And otherwise, oh, point, point. And otherwise, it should be 0. Point one so let's close off all those parentheses and test it okay i don't see a lot of difference between 0 0.8 and 0 0.5 so let's make that a bigger difference let's say point three and Six. 
I think that's better. So if I only want the lines, then I'm done. This is it. Uh, elevation or contour lines made simple with the uh, QGIS. But I also want to have labels. So I will have the elevation value uh, and I add an M afterwards. That will give me the elevation and um, an indication that th this is meter values. Uh, I will also change the color. Let's make it the same color. So pick. No. Copy. Copy that color. And paste it. Like that. And a font. Uh, let's make it so you can see it. We need to have it. Ah, maybe leave it at regular for now. Uh, placement. I want it curved. I want it on the line. Like that. And I also want to use masks. So enable masking. Like that. And now I need to reduce the number of uh, labels. I only want to label the even 25 meter uh, contour lines. So in the expression I will use similar exp expression as before. If elev ampersand 25 equals 0. Then I will print the labels, otherwise the label will be empty, like that. Uh, a lot fewer labels. Uh, I do want it to be more than one label for each line, at least the long ones. So I think that was repeat, and let's say how many millimeters? 100? Uh, too much. 150. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, next. What's next? Yeah. Uh, if you want to create cut cartography correct cartographic correct labels they should be facing uphill so if I turn this layer on let's just make it a pseudo color like that and uh, use CPT city and topographic that one like that. So this area is higher and these are lower. So all the labels should be facing upwards and they are not. Right here you see uh, 175 meters is pointing down. I need to fix that. Uh, so go back to contour lines labels uh, and you're uh, under the render tab we can choose to show upside down labels and uh, now it's set to never but if we set it to always nothing will change i don't know why i th think it should change but we can fix that <laughs> as well uh, well, it did change. Now every label is pointing down in not up. Yeah, that's it. So if I said never, 
everything should be pointing up, but it doesn't. But always, then we force it to always be upside down. And that means I need to turn the line, reverse the line, so it faces the other way. And we do that with the geometry generator. Make the line string, and then we will use the geometry. But it should be reverse. Like that. Now all labels are facing uphill. Which should be cartographically correct. There are a few more things you can do to make it uh, even nicer looking. Uh, and for that we change from simple line to geometry generator. Select a line string. And the first thing is to remove all these really small polygons. Uh, if you look at the rasters, there are areas that may not be that uh, relevant. So we start with an if statement. If length is more than let's say 400 meters then we show the geometry otherwise we show nothing then we can play with this number so if i say 100 we have some small ones if i say a thousand maybe a bit too much so i think 400 was actually pretty good also uh, when we have filtered this out we can use a smooth function on the polygons like that it will make them a bit more uh, curvy uh, but not exaggerated to the extreme. Um, if you want it to be even more smooth, you can add a number here. Uh, that will smooth it out even further. But it will also be a lot uh, slower. So I think it's enough to use the default. Uh, now I need to set the color back to the brown and I need to set the thickness let's see the recent ones like that so now we have a map with uh, nice smooth uh, lines uh, they are oriented the labels are oriented the right way if I just put it back to 100% and uh, we can save this style as a layer definition file or a QGIS layer style file I, I should say um, and uh, use that repeatedly for this type of data uh, if you have contour line data it's not uh, certain you can use this fun method because uh, when we create the contour lines with QGIS it will uh, orient the line direction the same way for every uh, every line if you have data from a third party or somewhere else that's not certain so try it and uh, if the labels are upside down uh, you can use this reverse function for the labels in the geometry generator here so activate the geometry generator and reverse the geometry see you next time